Hello, this is MakerJ11, and welcome back to another video for Overbreak. Today we're gonna be working on my car, so let's get to work on that. So we gotta replace the radiator, oil change, and fix my shoe again. Look at that, it keeps coming apart. The hood is kinda of hard to open. Just stick something on. Man, it doesn't put enough pressure on the latch. Where's my hot glue gun? Oh yeah, I took it to college. Gotta get a different one. Time to glue my shoe again. Lots of hot glue. Hot glue's the best. Oh, we need another stick. Best glue ever. The first thing I actually wanna check is to see if the tongue belt is all right. When I bought it, it had 168,000 on it. Never actually really checked the tongue belt. And so I kinda should probably do that because, well, if I'm gonna go through the process of that, of like draining the coolant and everything, I should probably check the timing belt to make sure I shouldn't, I don't need to also do that because if I replace the timing belt, I'm also probably gonna wanna do the water pump and I might as well do all that at the same time. All right, so I pulled the cover off and I don't know, I don't think it looks that bad. I mean, the teeth are certainly worn. You can see down there, camera focus. Yeah, you can see they're certainly worn, but it doesn't look like eaten up or anything. You can still actually see that there's a white bar here. At least it doesn't look original. There's blue markings here. I'm guessing that somebody might have replaced it. Oh, and look at this. 924. So maybe it was replaced. That, that, that means it's due. It looks all right, so we're going to leave it go for now. And it'll be a future project, I guess. The thing is with these Volkswagens, it's real fun to do that because you have to take this whole uh, engine mount off and jack up one of the, the this side of the engine so you can actually work on it. Yeah, it looks like it's a real fun project. I still got more time than money, so yep, I would replace it myself, <laughs> even though it looks like a pretty intense project. But I also ordered uh, some rubber things for the for the smog blower thingy. Basically it blows air into the exhaust when the engine is starting up to kind of aid in getting the catalytic converter working faster. The mounts and that always break off and people replace them with zip ties. And it looks like the zip ties broke too. Well, there we go. And look at that, it's a Coney, Coney Tech? Coney Tech? I don't know how you say that. Coney Tech. I don't think that's original, I'll have to. Well, first I'm gonna show you where it's actually leaking from. It's leaking on this edge over here, it's all rusty. I think what I need to do, probably pull the bumper off because it seems like the screws are like hidden behind, like right here somewhere, there's a screw that holds like the bracket in. So you can take the fan shroud off from this side, which I'm gonna start with. There's like four screws on the fan shroud. One over here, one down there and then one, two over here. Those need to come out first. Also, the AC is attached to the radiator itself. There's a plastic bracket over there that attaches to the radiator. So I, if my understanding is correct, it all comes out as one piece, which I don't want that to happen. Um, so I think I need to pull the bumper off so that I can get to those screws to detach the AC condenser from the radiator, and then we should be able to get it. seen spray foam packaging. So they sprayed in a plastic bag and then just put it around the car. Huh, that's ingenious. I love that. That's awesome. Oh, here's the new radiator. Yeah, looks like it should work. Check out this packaging. It's pretty much just spray foam. They sprayed in a bag. That's ingenious. I love that. Just takes the shape of whatever. Easier than I thought. I'll this light bulb here. All right. There's the bumper off. Bumper's off. That's actually not very hard. So here's the thing that makes Volkswagen so easy to do coolant changes. Bottle in there, turn this like a quarter turn or something, and then you just pull this out. There we go. And there it goes. Too easy. That's all. It's gotta be more in there. So it looks like there's clip kind of things that hold these pieces on the radiator. Oh, I see another screw right here that looks like it holds the uh, the AC condenser onto the radiator. These wires and everything are gonna have to detach here somehow too. So I guess I should start just detaching stuff. It's all gotta come out of here. Just trying to get this clip off here. Some kind of booby trap. There we go. 
the guy on YouTube that I was watching, he kept having a terrible time with this tube getting in the way when he was taking it out. So I'm just gonna take this whole tube off, I think. That just seems like a smart idea. Come on, baby. There we go. So I already took the little metal clip off the plastic part that goes on the radiator. So let's see if now we can pull that off. There we go. It's actually pretty clean in there because this actually had green coolant in it. I replaced the green coolant when I first got it. All right, so this part of the AC is kind of in the way. Yeah, I think that'll give us a little bit more room. All right, so now let's take the screws off for the shroud here and we'll see. This is the only thing that's still attaching on this side, so I haven't figured out how to get this, the thermostat for the fans out. Oh, there we go. That was it. All right, so now we need to take the bolts out that hold the radiator in. Ah, that's the second broken bolt. Now I think that it's this bolt here. There's one down here, like it, and then there's one over here, and one up here, and that's, I think that's what holds, like, there's bracket things that go on these pegs on the radiators, on the ends of the radiator. I think that those bolts hold those on, so let's take those out and see what happens. And I think there's also ones in here that hold the radiator, or the condenser onto the radiator. I think those need to come out, too. And if I did everything correctly, the old crusty radiator should be freed now. So let's try and get it out. Yeah, it feels pretty loose. There we go, that's better. Here's the side by side of the two radiators. You can actually see the new one, it's got flat squash tubes, and then there's the, the aluminum, like whatever the heat sink material is in between. This one has the aluminum sheets, and then the the tubes are punched through it. Yeah, it's all falling apart from the salt and stuff. Okay, here she see where some of the pink coolant is leaked through and dried out. Yeah, look at that. That's where it was definitely leaking in there. All in there. Here's where I broke off one of the screws, and then there's another one that broke off down here. And then this needs taken out, and also these uh, bracket things on the top ones. The bottom ones, these are what the bottom ones look like. So those go on there. Probably actually to take up like an expansion of the radiator and such. I'm not really sure why I gap in there. So now I gotta get this sensor off of here. And now let's get the plug out of this, this one. Assuming we don't need thread lock or anything on here. The cap has an O-ring. I'm gonna transfer the O-ring from this into the thermostat. Oof. The O-ring's coming out. That's actually probably not gonna be working with the O-ring in there. Let's take the O-ring out. So I probably don't need to, but I'm gonna put a little bit of red RTV silicone on here. It's also probably not the right type. You're supposed to probably use blue, but eh, whatever. It's just extra high temperature. It always like dries back into the tube. It's stupid. It's just stupid. Yeah, should be good enough. Now we gotta fish all the screws out of the coolant. Tasty. Yay, now it's time to put the new radiator back in my car. Well, in my car. That's wrong. This goes up in there. Somehow. Dang, that actually was not that hard. Put these bracket things back on, these guys. Alright. This is the screw for the uh, condenser. So me being curious as usual, I'm gonna see if these fans, I don't know which wires to use though. Well, that's it. That one works. Works good.
got a leaf. That's powerful. No wonder they always have stickers saying uh, don't get your fingers near it while it's running. Because it could like, that would chop your finger off pretty good, I think. You should want to be careful not to mar up the new, brand new radiator with it. Which would kind of suck. Just bought some more water and I'm pouring it, some of it into this other jug, so that I have about a half a gallon. Okay. Let me get this thing off. Did I make that good and childproof? Pressed with some. Oh, derp! You just have to be a super genius to use it. That's all. Yeah, that should be 50-50 mix, perfect. All right, let's put it in. Because I've got everything hooked back up, I think. Should probably double check everything. Make sure I didn't disconnect anything else. I don't think I did. I think we should be good. Put some coolant in it. Check for leaks. Alright, let's start it up and see if it swallows more coolant. So the reservoir is not taking coolant anymore, um, and it's warmed up a good bit. It's pretty warm. Uh, so let's go to the auto parts store now, get a couple of screws, uh, get some transmission fluid, and uh, we'll give it a good test. Warm up transmission fluid and oil, and we'll do a change of those too. It's getting up to temperature, and the heat is certainly blowing pretty hot, so it's certainly working. So that's good, it's good coolant going through the radiator. It's actually quite hot in here. I'll turn that off. All right, just got back from the auto parts store. It looks like the coolant is about where it's supposed to be. That's good. That is always a good sign. Pressurized a bit. Here's the hardware I bought. Yep. That should work in place of just fine. So we'll be able to attach everything good and solid. This is what I had to do on the way back uh, because it started rubbing when I went over about 30, 30 miles, well, about 30 miles an hour. This would start rubbing on the tire because it's not very secured. <laughs> I didn't really think about that. Actually, I think there's a screw missing here too, because of when I was in the accident, I think it, uh, uh, the screw hole got messed up or something, but we'll have to see why that's so loose. I mean, it does get bolted in all, all through here, so that's why it's so loose, really. But it feels like it should be loose, it should be attached in there somewhere. It just feels a little bit floppy. So let's inspect for leaks real quick, and then uh, we'll put the rest of those bolts back in and do an oil change, and we will be good to go. Uh, I'll do the transmission change tomorrow, I think. So that is the plan. All right, now it's time to do the oil. And you know, the old oil cans or things make really nice catch pans, because it's got handles on and everything, and it, it'll hold the right amount, too. All right. Things are hot. Things are hot. And now let's get the filter. Actually, I'm gonna put the bumper back on while I wait for it to drip. Well, derp. 
I just took the, the license plate off the front that I don't need because we're in Pennsylvania and we just have uh, back license plates. And, uh, well, this is exactly the kit I just bought. Well, derp. Uh, whatever. Should be good. Good enough. Oops. See you like that. Looks like right, right about there. Looks pretty good to me. That's actually not that dirty yet. The thing is, though, I don't really trust it anymore because so it's a it's a K and an, it's a K and S uh, non disposable air filter. The problem is, it's starting to degrade a bit. Yeah, see, so look at the cracks here. So that's why I kind of want to replace it. I'm just gonna put disposable in because these are too expensive. So, and from the research that I've done, it doesn't really seem like it gives you that much more in performance or anything. Like maybe it's slight bit, but hardly any. So I, I don't think it's worth it. Plus I don't have all the cleaning stuff for it. So I'm just gonna put a normal filter in. There we go, new air filter. There we go, got it. All done. Sweet. Now my car will drive real nice and smooth. Well, I still got to do the transmission oil though. Um, but other than that, it's done for today.